Here we have some problems about finding the area of a, a complex figure. It's not just a plain old rectangle or square or triangle. And the basic strategy you want to employ here is to cut it up into pieces that you can find the area for. So looking at this sort of L-shaped thing here, I think what I would probably do is just split it up into two pieces. This would be a square that's 3 by 3, and this would be a rectangle that's 5 by 8. So I can find the area of those two pieces and add them together. Well, the area of a square is just the side squared, or th in this case, 3 times 3, 3 squared, so that's 9. And the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. That's 8 times 5. That's 40. And we add those two together, and we get 49. And let's get our units right. It says dimensions are in meters. Since this is area, it would be square meters. Let's look at one more here. This one says find the area of this figure, dimensions are in meters, so same kind of problem. And I'm just going to do it in a slightly different way. We could do this one exactly the same way. I'm going to make it a little harder on myself in case you run into one where uh, some of the sides aren't clear. I mean, we could also split it up into this way, into these two rectangles. The only problem with doing that is that uh, this rectangle is this side by this side, and I don't know the length of this side. It doesn't say. This whole length over here is 9, but I don't know this side. Well, to get this side, all I have to do is subtract this unit, this amount, from 9, and I've got that side. Well, this side here is the same as this side over here. It's 3, so this length here must be 6. So this is 4 times 6, 4 by 6. And up here we've got a, a width of 3 and a length of... Well, here I can add the 3 plus this length here is the same as this, this length down here. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is 3 times 7. Well, 4 times 6 is 24. 3 times 7 is 21. We add those together and we've got 45. And once again, dimensions are in meters, so this is square meters because it's area. Those are a couple of problems in figuring out the area of a complex shape.